What's good, YouTube? And welcome to the house. I was mid-workout, so if I'm sweaty, I'm burning those holiday calories. And by the theory of truth, these pendulums should be way stronger thanks to me putting that effort in. Let's go ahead and get into the Valiants. I have not read any of them. Their art is really unique. It's from a deck-building set that is up and coming. Let's go. Uh, there is so, so, so much text. It's like I had to read a tabletop RPG manual. I'll try to keep it timely. We've got Sheen. No Nome, Priestess of the Valiants, a level 2 water spellcaster pendulum effect monster. Attack 500, defense 500, scale is great at 1. Pendulum effect, you can only use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. During your main phase, you can special summon this card to your main monster zone in this card's column, so little abyss actor curtain raiser there. Also, you cannot special summon the rest of this turn, except the Valiant monsters and monsters from your extra deck. I'm a little confused by that. Except Valiant Monsters and Monsters from your extra deck. So I guess it locks you into Valiants from your hand and Pendling from your hand. But you could still maybe summon other cards from your extra deck. Or maybe it's just Valiant Monsters lock period. But why would the extra text be there then? I've got to assume you can go into other places in your extra deck. But you're locked into Valiant Monsters maybe from your hand. Let me know ruling wise. Distant Coder help judge. I, I would think that it's... And not, you know, a explicit. So I do think it would be both. Monster effects, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control this special summon card, you can add one Valiant spell from your deck to your hand. If this card is moved from a monster zone to another, you can add one Valiant monster from your deck to your hand, except Shino Nome. Priestess. So this is a double searcher. It's not use one or the other. You can only use the first and second once per turn. So this is a spell and a monster searcher. And it's a able to special summon itself from the scale zone. So that you get locked. But then you're searching through your engine. And then something else I would think will shift its zones. Next up, we have Sayano, Archer of the Valiants, a level 4 water spellcaster pendulum effect monster. Attack 1100, defense 1100, pendulum scale 1 also. Pendulum effect, you can only use this once per turn. During your main phase, you can special summon this card to your main monster zone in this card's column. Also, you cannot special summon the rest of the turn except Valiant monsters and monsters from the extra deck. I've got to think that that's both, not or, or like, it has to be both, right? It's not saying, you're, it would just say only Valiants if it was only Valiants. Monster effect, you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn each. If you control the special summon card, you can target one effect monster on the field, toss a coin, and if its head, negate the monster's effect. If it's tails, its current effect becomes halved. I wish this was a quick effect a bit. That's really cool. Finally, a good coin flip effect. I get to negate an effect, or I get to half your attack. Not like a blowback effect, if I'm reading this right. I, I'm kind of shocked. You can target an effect monster on the field, and if its heads negate the monster effect, if its tails, yeah, the current attack. Not like this own card. I like good coin flip effects. I Sasuke Samurai number four is one of my favorite cards of all time from back in the day. It's good in GOAT format. I'll defend that. If this card is moved from a monster zone to another, you can target a card on the field, toss a coin, and if its heads destroy the card, if its tails return it to the hand, another double good coin flip effect. I am really liking this card. That is so freaking cool. It's like, oh, you missed the target. No, I still hit it in terms of like the archery effect. That is awesome. So I'm wondering, okay, so we have two cards that go out of the zone and then all of them get effects when moved so that you could continue special summoning. Let's see. We've got Nazuki Ninja of the Valiants, a level 6 water spellcaster pendulum effect, 1800, 1800. Again, scale 1 though. Where's the high scales? You can only use this card's name once per turn. If Valiant's Vorld, Shina, okay, that's the crazy to pronounce. Shinra Bansho is in a field zone, so they've got a field spell. Or if you control a Water Valiant monster, you can special summon this card to your main monster zone in this card's column. You can only use the first and second effect of this monster effect once per turn each. All right, you can target one other monster in the main monster zone. Move it to an adjacent zone. There it finally is, so it's a little harder to summon, but then it can move other things. If this card is moved from 
a monster zone to another you can target a valiance monster card in your spell and trap zone special summon it to your main monster zone and it's calm but they're all already doing that so far so there's got to be ones worth it to do this kind of copycat effect right or i guess the ones for turn effects you're able to bypass it and summon them again if you get stuck with the clumped hand. Hojo, Warrior of the Valiant, a level 8 water spellcaster pendulum effect monster, so he is also a water. 1900, 1900, again, such high levels but such low stats. You can only use the pendulum effect once per turn if a Valiant, Vorold, Shino, Field spell, or if you control water Valiant monster, you can special summon this card to your main monster zone in this card's column. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. You can target a face-up card in the Spell and Trap Zone, return it to the hand. I'd like to see a little more power and oomph. If this card is moved to, from a main monster zone to another, you can fusion summon a Valiance Fusion Monster from your extra deck, using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material, as well as cards in your Pendulum Zone. If there's ways to recur the Pendulums, that would also be interesting. We've got Valiant's Buster Bear and a level 2 Fire Pendulum effect monster, 800-800 scale 1. You can only use this uh, card's effect once per turn as a Pendulum effect during your main phase. You can special summon this card to your main monster zone in this card's column. Also, you're locked into Valiant's monsters and monsters from your extra deck. You can only use the first and second uh, monster effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control this special summon card, you can target one other Valiance monster in your main monster zone. Move the target to an adjacent zone. There we have it. Another moving effect. If this card is moved from a monster zone to another, you can target one card in the pendulum zone. Place it face up in an adjacent spell and trap zone as a continuous spell. What the heck? Whoa! So you pin the, you have this in scale, you have something else in scale. You summon this, you're able to move it, and then you're able to move that a, a pendulum spell into being a continuous spell. Wow, we're actually breaking the pendulum mechanic even further and kind of undoing what the master rule did, but in a specific archetype. We've got Valiance Voltage Viscount, a level 4 fire machine pendulum effect monster, 1400-1400. Scale 1, once again, where's our high scales? You can only use the pendulum effect of this card's name once per turn. During your main phase, special summon this to the main monster zone in this card's column. Also, you're locked into Valiance and monsters from your extra deck. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control this special summon card, you can place one Valiance pendulum monster from your extra deck in your spell and trap zone as a continuous spell again further breaking it with these fire guys if this card is moved from a monster zone to another you can place a face up valiance pendulum monster from your extra deck into the pendulum zone specifically still just really interesting the resources these fire guys give next up we have valiance mad marquis a level six fire pendulum effect Again, scale 1, 17, not 17. You can only use the, the effects of this card's name once per turn as a pendulum effect if Valiant World Coing Wizen is in a field zone. So we have two field spells, or you control a Fire Valiance monster. You can special summon this card to your main monster zone in its column, monster effect. You can only use the first and second effects once per turn each. During your main phase, you can roll a six-sided die and excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the result. And if you do, add one excavated Valiance card to your hand, shuffle any back into the deck, any remaining cards. If this card is moved from a main monster zone to another, roll a six-sided dice. And if the result is two, three, four, or five, special summon one monster from your spell and trap zone to your main monster zone in its column without having to use its effect again interesting so superior extenders and here we have valiance dominator duke level eight fire machine pendulum effects attack 2000 defense 2000 pendulum effect is you can only use this once per turn if valiance world is in a field zone or you control a fire you can special summon this card to your main monster zone and it's column you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. You can target a set card in the Spell and Trap Zone. It can't be activated this turn. Many Denko Seka, I guess. If this, It still activates, though. They can chain it. If this card is moved from a main monster zone to another, you can target a face-up monster in your opponent's main monster zones. Take control of it, and if you do, treat it as a Valiance. Also, it cannot declare attacks or activate effects, of course. 
course, of course. But it might help with the fusion, which is what we're on. Level 10 Water Spellcaster Fusion Pendulum Effect Monster 2800, 2800. Pendulum Scale 10. You can only use this effect once per turn. During your main phase, activate one of these effects. Special summon this card to your main monster zone in its column. Move one monster in your main monster zone to another column. But that's as a scale, so I'm guessing it has an effect to put it in the scale. It takes three Valiant Monsters. You can only use the first monster effect once per turn. During the main phase quick effect, you can target one effect monster in your opponent's main monster zone. Place that monster in your opponent's spell and trap zone. Whoa! Full circle! You do it to yourself because you want to, but then you do it to your opponent because they don't want to. Uh, and that monster's column as a face-up continuous spell. If this card is already in that zone, destroy it. And if you destroy a monster card this way, your opponent loses life points equal to the attack so you can take care of a spell trap too this card's really fun if this special summon card you control is destroyed by an opponent's card effect you can place this card in your pendulum zone there it is what a crazy wacky boss monster and here's another fusion we've got the fire fusion level 10 fire machine fusion pendulum effect monster 2500 2500 pendulum scale 10 so there is the high scale and this is also the high scale and i guess this guy let me see here what was this guy's scale level eight i don't believe they have the scale for that yet but it, going by it all the main deck ones seem to be one all right during your main phase you can activate one of these effects special summon this card to your main monster zone in the monster zone column that it's in move one monster in your wait to your main monster zone in its column yeah same column move one monster in your main monster zone to an adjacent main monster zone as well as the other effect materials are two valiance monsters so just two for this big boy must first be fusion summoned or special summoned from your face down extra deck by tributing one level five or higher non-fusion valiant monster in the same column as an emz zone extra monster zone if this card is special summoned you can target one monster card in your opponent's spell and trap zone return to the hand and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to its attack then this card gains attack equal to half the damage wow so we have burn battle win cons that are also in here and here we finally get to the field spells we've got valiance vorald sheen rabancho field spell card so this is the water based one if i recall you can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. When this card resolves, place one Valiance Field spell from your deck face up in your opponent's field zone, except Valiance of World. So you place the other, the Fire Field spell, unless they're going to make more of these. If there are two cards in the field zone, the turn player can target a monster card in their spell and trap zone. The turn player summons it to their main monster zone in the same column. So this would actually, I feel like, help the opponent a little bit get back some of their advantage if you don't take care of it. Then the fire one that reads, when this card resolves, place a Valiant Field spell from your deck in your opponent's field zone, except for Voral, the Corgan Weissen. If there are two cards in the field zones, the turn player can target one effect monster in their opponent's main monster zone in the same column as a monster the turn player controls. Place the targeted monster face up in its controller spell and trap zone in the same column as a continuous spell. If there's already a card in that zone, it is destroyed. So I guess you are supposed to take big advantage that the turn player gets to do these things. You get to place both of them at once. You immediately get the advantage of that and you're trying to either build a board or kill. This doesn't really feel like a setup deck. This feels like a going second deck, if anything, and pendulums don't typically like that as much. Heavy Metal Foes Electromite gets a reprint hopefully collector rare huh tcg there's another smile for trip we'll see how that goes what do you guys think of this archetype i think it's really unique and awesome building how it locks you is interesting if you're able to go into non-valiance in the extra deck that is eyebrow raising and should be pretty darn cool depending on what boards you could come up with and what you can do i'm not really seeing any tuners along with this but you could still normal summon in theory tuners and i don't know it is it is very very interesting how you could build a deck with this i love the unique aspects of deck building decks 
and the fact that this broke the pendulum mechanic to turn pendulum spells into continuous spells and then still summon them and continue through your turn. It also feels like the past and the future of this city, right? Like this feels like the past and then the future. They work so hard on these themes and sometimes they get swept away by that rather than their actual effects, but these effects seem like they're made to be broken in as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation and I'm going to get back to my workout.